Hey dudes, how are we doing today? Welcome to another fantastic edition of Retrospect where we take a look back at uh, previously released games and give them a, a new light and a new uh, retrospective where we talk about really significant titles, uh, you know, given a later date that uh, give us some time to sink in and really digest the game. So yeah, dudes and dubets, we are going to talk about the uh, divided critically acclaimed uh death stranding here yes finally released uh in 2019 november 8th we're actually coming up uh over half a year since this game's release man was i excited for hideo kojima's kojima project uh productions death stranding uh starring a beautifully amazing cast with sam bridges the main character and uh, protagonist here uh, Norman Reedus, we have amazing performances by Tom Earl Jenkins, uh, even brought, bringing in Lindsay Wagner, uh, uh, an older actress back in the day that I guess Hideo Kojima really had a strong passion for and animated her in this game younger. And uh, actually, Mads Mikkelsen won a Best Performance Award at the Video Game Awards, also won Best Score. Uh, some amazing tracks by Low Roar, that's uh, especially one of the high points of this game. Uh, also won Best Studio. Yeah, I'm talking about the Game Awards with Jeff Keighley. Also a very uh, dear and kind friend to Hideo Kojima and actually does have an appearance in this game. So a lot of moving parts uh, to this somewhat divided title upon release uh, when it was announced in 2017 back in E3. Actually, uh, PlayStation uh, was really citing how impressed they were with Kojima uh, how fast he made this title, uh, given the squabble and, of course, the ugly uh, scenario that happened with Kon uh, Konami and Kojima and them splitting apart. But hey, I think that's what made Kojima came back twice as hard. He uh, formed his own studio in such a short time with amazing technology, and uh, specifically in the motion capture and the voice. Uh, acting department there but there's a, a lot of moving parts to this title with the sound and the graphics and of course Hideo Kojima uh, is no stranger to attention to detail that we clearly get in this game much like we've gotten with Metal Gear uh, and even Zone in the Enders and a bunch of his other previous titles uh, but yeah I really wanted to highlight this portion of the game I actually did have a clip here um, and this is really where the game stands out. Uh, so basically, the gameplay loop here is you play Sam Bridges developing, or sorry, transporting packages from one point to another in a post-apocalyptic U.S. Uh, a shrunken down version. It does look like the whole map, but really, <laughs> you know, you're kind of just walking uh, from A to B in a, in a somewhat short distance here. But yeah, I really felt like I was climbing up this mountain with this package on my back, uh, let alone it being a, a human being, which really adds uh, a creative tension. And again, uh, Kojima is no stranger to true creative process. And uh, it is really amazing that PlayStation footed the bill to give Kojima really whatever he wanted, because he is a mastermind. He is uh, truly one of the Mozarts in modern day uh, gaming. and. Uh, I think many, 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 many people were excited for this release, and uh, yeah, so it did come out a little bit divided, but I think it's because it was very different experience. I think people weren't really entirely sure what they were getting uh, when this title, even up to the release of this title, I mean, uh, Kojima himself didn't really start advertising and promoting the game until a couple months before, uh, showing a couple action sequences. and showing really what we would be doing here uh, in the game. Uh, but when it finally hits, I, you know, it, it was really a hit or miss with some people. For me, I'm just gonna say this now, it was a big hit. Uh, it was one of those games where when I wasn't playing it, I was thinking about playing it. And yeah, some moments did kind of drag uh, thin a little bit. Uh, just as you'll kind of be seeing here in this gameplay I'm showing you, there's a lot of 
checking your uh, inventory and checking the map and make sure you're going the right way. But I guess, hey, that's the uh, that's the loop of a of a delivery man. Um, but yeah, the, of course, uh, with any Kojima title, we're getting amazing production values, uh, amazing scenery, uh, breathtaking scenery, I might say. Uh, and of course, there, there's always the story element to Kojima, and it seems uh, from what we heard from interviews and kind of news leaks that not even really uh, Kojima was completely sure what he was crafting here uh, in this experience of Death Stranding. Um, but yeah, it's it's really uh, the, the slow pace. It, it, it was dubbed a you know a glorified walking simulator. Um, that was a little repetitive, but I kind of like the slow burniness to it, and uh, really, um, it, it does play actually a little bit like Metal Gear Solid. It has very snappy action, um, y you know, very similar movements, very uh, realistic uh, animations, and really just little bits that make you feel like you're actually playing a real human being that I think is really hard to pull off. Uh, even in, in the world of modern day gaming, I mean, you have to take a whiz every so often or Norman Reedus will actually be uh, exclaiming how he really has to take a piss, you know. <laughs> it's just moments like that where I think Kojima's the, the true mastermind really pushing uh, the boundaries between experiencing uh, a real virtual reality, uh, so to speak. And we've even saw that in Metal Gear, of course, you know, those are just third-person action games at its heart, much like this one, uh, with with really just its own flavor of gameplay. Of course, there is action, there is boss battles, uh, there is fight scenes, and some feeling, uh, you know, very arcadey. And of course, coming from Kojima, we have some really funny bits and melodrama that break up uh, some of the the gameplay here especially with Guillermo del Toro uh, of course uh, you know the, the amazing director there and Kojima has a lot of connections I mean uh, this is a little bit of spoiler war uh, spoiler alerty so if you're not too fond of the details here uh, please click off now but we have uh, guest appearances with uh, Conan O'Brien, of all people, uh, he actually went to the studio and hung out with Kojima, but that's besides the point. I'm just trying to highlight here how Kojima has uh, an extreme connection with uh, humans and uh, just developing those personal interactions. And actually, that really translates. That's kind of the highlight here of Death Stranding is, uh, you know, all the different strands of people. And there's a huge, actually, online quote-unquote multiplayer element here going on where it was fun if you're playing online and connected uh there's a lot of resource and crafting situations in this game and you'll actually be able to bring some of these uh, crafting materials to a post where many other players can bring uh real life players can bring those materials to the same post and everyone can kind of build a bridge together of course uh sam bridges uh, he works for the Bridges Company, and uh, th there's a huge theme of connectivity here uh, that really does stand out uh, from, you know, any other game. Uh, we, we get that a little bit in some other games with, uh, you know, online interactivity and kind of all reaching towards a certain goal, but nothing quite uh, like this. It, it, this game is not only uh, an expo of how well Kojima can make uh, a third-person action game, but really how we can incorporate his own little uh, spice and added flavor. Try something new, and even though at the base of this game it is a third-person action adventure uh, exploration type, uh, there, there's it's 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 really its own subgenre, really. In that, um, yes, you, there is a little bit of jankiness in this game, just because you really are traveling. Uh, uncharted territory and uh, going about at different locations. I kind of wish there was maybe a little bit more locations. Some of the uh, scenery is breathtaking and it was. It was a little bland. We are uh, kind of playing in, in a world where there's explosions. I'll kind of just say that. I don't want to give away too much in case you have been planning about uh, really picking up this title and there there is a very deep story albeit it really doesn't shine through until the end and in kind of a weird way I'm gonna say I was there's definitely 
uh, some lines and, and dialogue and, and lost in translation. As, a, as amazing it is to really do witness, I mean, I do got to say, I did enjoy every little bit of a gaming moment here uh, and really excited just to see what the next story beat was. Uh, just because of the production value, although I did not connect to this game as much as I did do with Metal Gear Solid. I think Metal Gear Solid, as crazy as those stories are, uh, it's a little even a little easier to follow. And that's just really uh, leaving me still chomping at the bit to see what Kojima will do next uh, going forward with Kojima Productions. I guess he did have a major project recently canceled, uh, but that's a story for another time. Uh, but, you know, everything with this game all said and done, uh, I think this is a title that really should be experienced, especially since this game usually goes on sale uh, pretty frequently. Uh, but again, with, with the Kojima, you know, experience, I'd say this is truly an experience that uh, is genuine. It, there's kookiness with the melodrama. melodrama uh, but again, the kick-ass soundtrack, it's all licensed. I wish you could almost hear more of it or select the music to play when you want to hear it rather than just being at your base uh, but it really does make the moments stand out when the uh, camera pans out and you get to see the new uh, area and locale that you're entering uh, when you have like hundreds of pounds of things on your back and uh, w with the upgrades there's an upgrade system and even though the upgrades and the rewards feel somewhat small when you're going through the game they really do stand out and make you sigh with relief at just how happy you are to get that next upgrade to get that really cool next pair of legs that carry you across uh the u.s and uh th there's just some it just feels good to, even if you're just unlocking a, a customizable color for your uh packaging uh outlook it's just really cool and i think you know a lot of those uh, upgrades are kind of hard to find and some of them don't even really come towards until the end uh, but that being said they do feel really nice and I think the pacing works really well here uh, yeah you'll spend you know about 30 hours uh, with this experience depending on how how, how much fun you're having transporting items to and fro um, but in, in with the ranking there is rankings you do get uh, after each mission and uh, there, there is uh, kind of a uh, push sense of replayability here as you can carry more uh, do previous missions faster with the gear that you now have that you came back with uh, but just a really interesting title uh, that really Hideo Kojima had his true freedom over and it was really great to see kind of what he wanted to do given all the time he had with whatever he really wanted to do with these amazing actors and he's a huge movie buff cinema and I'm always really into these games that blend the line of gameplay and uh, movie like experience you absolutely get that here if you uh, and again there's some really intense moments and uh, although the game can be somewhat easy and if you're careful I mean hey if you're just looking to kind of hang out and play something that's awe-inspiring and something that is really truly different uh, and fresh kind of like recently Maneater uh, for me anyway uh, yeah g definitely go ahead pick up the sticks and uh, do some traveling here I mean right from the get-go I think you'll really fear feel the the fresh experience you'll get right when you pick up the the controller and start playing uh, right as you have uh, control of Norman Reedus and Sam Bridges uh, and, and of course we have uh, some amazing lines with Troy Baker being in the game uh, and just the cast all the moving parts really do just make this game its own unique experience uh, even set aside from movie like experiences like Uncharted and even The Last of Us uh, or Man of Medan um, there, there's definitely more interactivity here I really feel like you're on a journey traveling even if the story gets a little muddled uh, this is a game that sh I think should be experienced, especially at a discounted price. And it really does just leave me uh, eagerly awaiting what Kojima is going to do next. I hope he does something with PT. Because, yeah, he was supposed to do PT, but instead we got the, this title, Death Stranding, with Norman Reedus. And I got to say, I'm just appreciative that we got this game at all. It was a, it was a true dream for Kojima, I'm sure. And hats off to him with this amazing experience that we only get every so often. So thank you, dudes. I hope you enjoyed my thoughts. Uh, retrospect on this uh, 
title. Uh, and of course, as always, we'll be right back. 